Now we've talked about uh, doing joint ventures before. Uh, you know what I mean by joint venture, right? We're talking about uh, finding somebody who knows your next customer before you do, and then building a relationship with that person so that they can refer you uh, to that potential customer for you. So uh, over the last 10 days, as I've been talking to some, some of our partners, I have been discussing with them the types of joint ventures that they've set up, uh, trying to figure out the ones that are most successful. And I've put together just a very short list of some of the ones that seem to be most successful for our partners at the moment. So I'm just gonna give you that list. So we've got photographers, videographers, we've got marketing companies, we've got business coaches, uh, printers, um, people who print t-shirts, that kind of thing as well, uh, direct mail companies, uh, accountants, uh, copywriters, and web designers. Now, surprisingly enough, web designers, um, you probably weren't expecting that one. So. The reason that works or when that works is when you've got a web designer who works in a different part of the market to you. So what it's worked really well for um, people who've connected with web designers who do very big websites for very large companies. So websites that are maybe $10,000 plus, $10,000 plus. So those people regularly get asked about smaller projects and they just, they just don't handle that or don't want to handle that. And they often don't have anybody to pass those jobs on to. So if you think about that list, uh, go through that, see, have you got anybody in your network that fits any of those brackets? Or even maybe it gives you an idea for, for somebody else. And uh, sit down, go talk to them and figure out how you could set up a joint venture with them.